the Lord is good to all, and his mercy is over all that he has made. Psalms 145.9. A very good morning to each and everyone gathered here. Thank you for being a part of this landmark occasion. Dear audience, may I request you to rise and receive the dignitaries for the day. The chief guest, His Grace, Most Reverend K. Williams, Bishop Emeritus of Mysore, Sister Catherine Charles, the Provincial of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Tarbes, Sister Georgina Eranikat, former Provincial of the SJT Sisters, Father Christopher Wimelraj, Director of St. Germain Academy, Miss Rita Brito, former student and teacher, Ms. Geeta Chengapa, former student, Mr. Stephen David, author and editor, Mr. Arthur Pes, Sister Mala Joseph, the principal, Sister Louisa, the manager, and Sister Gloria Raju. Kindly put your hands together with a warm applause of welcome. Kindly be seated. What lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. On behalf of the principal, the management and staff of St. Francis Xavier Girls High School, I extend a warm welcome to this significant celebration as we mark a monumental milestone in our school's illustrious history. Today, we gather not only to honor 135 years of academic excellence and community spirit, but also to unveil a special souvenir, the coffee table book that exemplifies the essence of the rich tradition of St. Francis Xavier Girls High School. St. Francis Xavier Girls High School has been propelled by its dynamism and steadfast dedication to elevate the caliber of education being the first institution of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Tarbes in India, it has marked 135 years of its existence as well as its service to the society in the field of education. SFX is a standing testimony to a rich and long tradition of the selfless service to society and nation at large. It is with great pride and excitement that we present to you Foundation for the Future, a 135-year history of the school, a beautifully crafted coffee table book that chronicles the rich heritage, memorable moments, and transformative growth of this esteemed institution. This book is a manifestation of the commitment, passion, and achievements of everyone who has been a part of the school community over the years. As we reflect on the abundant heritage of St. Francis Xavier Girls High School, we honor the contributions of those who laid the foundations, the educators who inspired, and the students who strived for greatness. Today's celebration is not just a look back at our past, but a tribute to the spirit of the SFX community and a luminous light guiding us into the future brimming with promise. Let us illuminate God's presence amongst us by lighting the lamp of knowledge and wisdom and for seeking his choices blessing. This is a symbolic moment that signifies the dispelling of darkness and igniting of thoughts and enlightenment. I invite His Grace, Most Reverend K. Williams, Sister Catherine Charles, Sister Georgina, Father Christopher Vimalraj, Ms. Rita Brito, Mrs. Geeta Chengapa, Mr. Stephen David, Mr. Arthur Pes, and Sister Mala Joseph to light the lamp. I also request Father Amarnath, the Dean of SFX Deanery, to kindly light the lamp. The world is searching for an answer, a ray of hope in a hopeless world. Who can we turn to?
Keeping the lamp being lit, may it inspire us all. The flame's upward movement, defying gravity, stands as a symbol of our quest for knowledge, upliftment, and the resolve to rise above all challenges. Just as Martin Luther King Jr. rightly said, take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. From the roots of our past, we rise to meet the future. Today's achievements lay the groundwork for tomorrow's successes. I invite our esteemed principal, Sister Mala Joseph, to welcome the gathering. On this momentous occasion, the 135th anniversary of St. Francis Xavier's Girls High School, we celebrate not just the passage of time, but a legacy of empowerment and education. Today we stand on the shoulders of giants, the SJT foundresses who envisioned the school, the management, the dedicated principals, staff over the years who ignited the young minds, and the countless students who have walked these halls shaped by the values instilled within these walls, faith, courage, compassion, and a thirst for knowledge. As we look back with gratitude, let's also turn our gaze to the future. This anniversary is a springboard propelling us forward to even greater heights. Our journey began in 1889 with a mission to provide quality education to girls. And today we take pride in the countless achievements of our students and alumni who have made significant contributions to the society. This anniversary is exceptional as we mark the release of our very own coffee table book titled Foundations for the Future. It is with immense joy and heartfelt gratitude that I extend a warm welcome to each and every one of you who filled this auditorium. Today we are honored to have Most Reverend K. Anthony William whose life and service to the church and the community have been exemplary and inspiring. His grace was ordained a priest on May 18th, 1993, and has served various roles throughout his ministry. His academic achievements include a master's degree in canon law from St. Peter's Pontifical Institute, Bangalore, and both a bachelor's degree in education and master's degree in Christianity from the University of Mysore. Bishop Williams' priestly ministry is marked by the diverse roles as assistant parish priest, parish priest and dean of Mysore, financial administrator, chancellor of Mysore, and Secretary and Treasurer of the Mysore Diocesan Educational Society. Bishop Williams' administrative acumen extended to various roles, including Public Relation Officer, Defender of Bond at the Diocesan Tribunal. As a visiting professor, he taught parish administration and canon law at major seminary at Mysore. His love for music and contribution to spreading the gospel through devotional hymns are noteworthy, reflecting his multifaceted talents and deep devotion. Bishop Williams' leadership as a shepherd of the Diocese of Mysore, beginning with his Episcopal ordination on February 27th, 2017 brought about significant reforms and transformation and accountable administration, leading to the development of the diocese in a brief span. 
Bishop now resides at St. John's Medical College Hospital, Bangalore, continuing his Episcopal ministry in and around the Archdiocese of Bangalore. Your grace, your presence here today is a source of inspiration and joy for all of us. On behalf of everyone gathered here, I extend a warm welcome to you. Kindly accept our token of appreciation. May I request Sister Catherine to welcome Bishop with a sapling and honor him with a shawl. Please put, a, put your hands together and give him a round of applause. Thank you, sister. Please join us in extending a warm welcome to our reverend and beloved sister Catherine Charles, the provincial of Bangalore province. The remarkable success story of St. Francis Xavier's Girls High School is intricately woven with Sister Catherine Charles' journey as the manager of SFX for the past eight years. She has passionately shared a vision of transformation and growth, inspiring everyone associated with the institution. Sister Catherine's simplicity and genuine love has endeared her to parents, teachers, and students alike. We express a heartfelt gratitude to you, dear Sister Catherine, for your positive presence that uplifts and supports everyone around us here. Once again, kindly put your hands together to welcome Sister Catherine, the head of the Society of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Tarps here. Sister Georgina, the former provincial of SJT Bangalore, is fondly remembered by the sisters for her efficient leadership and caring nature. Her impact on the community was significant and outstanding. Thank you, dear Sister Georgina, for joining us today. A warm welcome to you. We are extremely happy to welcome Ms. Rita Brito, a student and a teacher. Ms. Rita was born and brought up in Bangalore and did her entire schooling in this very institution from 1946 to 1957 and later taught in this institution from 1971 to 1986. She is one of the most famous Brito sisters and at the tender age of 13, she represented Mysore state now Karnataka, and went on to become a national and international hockey player of great fame. After her teaching career, yes, please give her a round of applause, yes. After her teaching career, she got involved in social service and animal welfare. She continues to live a unique and active life here in Bangalore. We are extremely proud of you, Ms. Rita Brito, for your contribution to the society and to this institution. Ma'am, your presence adds immense joy and evokes respect and awe at the way you have achieved success and how humbly you live. A warm welcome to you. Mrs. Geeta Chengapa's journey is nothing short of remarkable. Her sports achievement includes representing Karnataka in hockey and softball. Beyond that, she excels in golf, tennis, shuttle, basketball, cricket, and swimming. Her passion for recycling initiatives underscores her commitment to sustainability, and I was happy to receive 
that sustainable gift this morning from Ms. Geeta Chengappa, and thank you for that. As a dedicated social worker, Mrs. Chengappa has been serving Shashaya homes since 2000. Her roles have included overseeing various programs catering to the disabled community until 2015. Her tireless efforts during the COVID-19 pandemic will be remembered as a testament to your selfless service. Dear Ms. Geeta, your unwavering contribution to the society stand tall. A warm welcome to you. A warm welcome to Mr. Stephen David, the senior journalist. He's an award-winning political journalist who spent nearly 30 years covering current affairs and governance with leading publications including India Today, where he served as special correspondent for 15 years. He has spoken at various media platforms, including at Oxford, London, Washington, DC, Singapore, Philippines, Australia, and currently he chairs an independent leadership advisory in public policy that works closely with leaders in government industry and academia. A warm welcome to you, sir. We are also delighted to extend a warm welcome to the distinguished guests whose visionary leadership has been a driving force behind the creation of this exequit coffee table book, Mr. Arthur Pais. His unwavering commitment to perfection, keen eye for details, a genuine empathy for suffering humanity are truly impeccable. Mr. Arthur Pears has consistently inspired me with his work ethic and generosity, willingly taking on significant responsibilities in service beyond mere financial gains. Your dedication to capturing and preserving the essence of St. Francis Xavier's Girls High School history is nothing short of remarkable. Your tireless efforts and passion for documenting our institution's achievements and memories have culminated into a work of heart that we all take immense pride in presenting it today. A warm welcome to you, Mr. Arthur Pears. I extend a warm welcome to the staff of this institution who really worked hard to bring alive the dream of the coffee table book covering the 135 years legacy. I also welcome the students present and the past of St. Francis Xavier's Girls High School. Dear students, <clears throat> your curiosity, enthusiasm, and determination to excel have always driven the spirit of our school. Today, we celebrate your accomplishment and the vibrant energy you bring to our community. As you walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, remember you are part of a legacy of excellence that spans 135 years. A warm welcome to all my dear students and the teachers present here. To all our cherished alumni, your achievements in various fields are the solid foundation you received here at St. Francis Xavier's Girls High School. You carry the torch of our legacy into the world and your success are a source of pride for all of us. Thank you for your continual support for being our ambassadors of the mission and the charism of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Tops. I welcome all the former students who are present here, who are taken time to be part of this schedule. Please give them a round of applause.
I welcome all the PTA members, past and the present, especially Mr. Amrut and his team who worked tirelessly and efficiently to achieve the goal of 125 years celebration. A warm welcome to all the PTA members present here. With immense gratitude, joy, and pride, I take this opportunity to acknowledge the contribution of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Tops. A warm welcome to all my dear sisters who are present here for your continual support, for your prayerful accompaniment, for celebrating the success, for giving your shoulders in failures, and for standing by all the sisters who walked through these portals with your generosity and goodness. A warm welcome to each and every one of you, dear sisters. I also take this opportunity to welcome the former provincials present here, Sister Loretta, Sister Loretta Lobo, and Sister Euphrasia. Warm welcome to you, dear sisters. And it's a great joy to welcome the former two principals present here, Sister Basil and Sister Luisa Sebastian. Hearty welcome to you, dear sisters. I take this opportunity to welcome my present and the future animator, Sister Lalita Thomas, who has been the, the former principal of JNC. Warm welcome to you, sisters. And I welcome all the sisters who worked in SFX, that is Sister Sylvia, who has traveled all the way, and Sister Swapna, who is here, and Sister Marietta ensured that she's present for this program in spite of her uh, difficulties. Warm welcome to you, dear sisters. I welcome Reverend Father Amarnath, the Dean of St. Francis Xavier's Deanery, and all the fathers, my younger brother, Father Vijayraj, Another younger brother, Father Naveen. Another younger brother, Father Mervin. Welcome to all of you. I extend a warm welcome to all the parents and the students who are watching this on online. Warm welcome to all the students and the parents and the former students. I also welcome the media partners, Mr. Pradeep and Mr. Varghese. And special welcome to my dear friend, Ms. Vinita and Mr. K.J. Anthony, the owners of Amma Bakery. A warm welcome to both of you and thank you for joining. Let us remember that today's celebration is to the enduring spirit and legacy of St. Francis Xavier's Girls High School. We honor our past, celebrate our present, and look forward to the future filled with promise and potential. The coffee table book is a tribute to everyone who has been a part of this journey. Once again, I extend a warm welcome to all of you for being here to celebrate this significant landmark with us. Your presence make this occasion truly special. Thank you. We now invite you to embark on a visual journey that highlights the essence of St. Francis Xavier Girls High School's storied past and a promising future presenting a video showcasing the highlights of the coffee table book.
What a nostalgic and an inspiring journey. The coffee table book is truly a evidence to the rich legacy of St. Francis Xavier Girls High School. Every great journey begins with a single step and every great institution is built on a solid foundation. I request Mr. Stephen David to address the audience. There's an old African proverb which uh, basically says when an elder in the society dies, the library dies with him. When an elder in the society dies, the entire library dies with him. Documentation, repository of information, collection of history for the future is very important. But before I share a few thoughts on this momentous occasion of the release of the coffee table book, I want to take this opportunity to congratulate the lead author of the book, which is none other than Sister Muller Joseph. So would you give her a round of applause? I want to convey my deep gratitude for this opportunity that Sister gave in inviting me to be here. It's a blessing to be in the midst of several dignitaries, the religious. It's always a privilege, and I'm grateful for this chance. Bangalore is dotted with several landmarks and a lot of the landmarks in the city educational health medical a lot of it is thanks to the work of the missionaries especially from france and for the sfx community to be here there was a link to the mep fathers who were instrumental Whatever the landmarks in the city, whether you find the cathedral opposite, St. Patrick's, Sacred Heart, or even the other institutions like St. Joseph's, which is a university now, even they go back to the beginnings of the MAP in 1658. And if you go back further, it's thanks to His Holiness Pope Gregory the 25th in 1622 when he decided to set up what we call the propaganda to evangelize the conquered lands. So we go back, any history, so whether it's the coffee table book of SFX, Foundation for the Future, is to celebrate the past and to celebrate the present and to look forward for the future. Documentation, looking at history, going back, is tied to the scriptures. The first time we find somebody actually making notes so that it's useful for the future is on Mount Sinai when God calls Moses and asks him to take all the instructions carefully. And if you have seen the film Ten Commandments, you have this picture of Moses on the mountain and God gives him what we know now as the Ten Commandments, the covenant. So that's one of the first recorded events in the history of documentation. And so we find documentation is a common theme and we celebrate such a common theme. Even Apostle Peter, a few days before he was executed in AD 67, he writes to his fellow believers along with the help of a man called Silas in, in putting together what we now know as the epistles. And he says, all the sacred writings that the prophets wrote are meant to be 
a light in a dark place. So, and he says, all the writings are eventually guided by the Holy Spirit. So even this coffee table book, which is undertaken by many people in the institution, including, I believe, Mr. Arthur Pais, congratulations, and all the teachers who work behind the scenes, a lot of rich history. Ultimate author is God, and he uses instruments, uses all of us, so that whatever is found in the pages, it will inspire all the readers, but it also uh, a symbol, it's a marker of what the institution has achieved. When every young girl comes into the institution, she goes out as a very mature, confident young woman. I was just sitting and having a little conversation with ma'am, uh, Miss Geeta Chengappa, and she was talking about her work among Cheshire homes. And also, she said, uh, many generations in the family were part of this institution. This is an institution that never discriminated. They never asked you, what religion do you come from to get you admitted into the school? Religion was out. The only objective was to instill the confidence, the values of faith and courage and as we saw in the school motto. And so every child that has been a part of the institution, every young girl who has walked into the school, and there are hundreds and thousands of them in the last 135 years from 1889, everybody has gone to be a symbol uh, ambassador of the school. So I want to extend again my hearty congratulations it's a great initiative, and we hope that all those who read the book will not only be inspired by the content in the book, but they'll also go back and reflect on some of the sacrifices that a lot of the religious, especially the, the community of sisters that have contributed tirelessly without uh, rest, I must say. You know, I know a little bit about Sister Muller Joseph. When she takes a project, I I know that she doesn't even look at her time. Uh, I have had occasions to interact with her in the past. And I, I believe that's the spirit with all the religious sisters here. You know, right from those four of four young sisters who landed in Bangalore in uh, May uh, 31, 1882. Uh, and I think the first assignment they had was to go and work in Bowring Hospital. So every time I walk through Bowring or walk by Bowring Hospital, I imagine these four young uh, sisters from France who landed without even the knowledge of the local language. They didn't know English. They didn't know Canada. And I believe all they did was serve in the kitchen in Bowring Hospital, wash the linen for several months, and within four years, they were instrumental in founding this wonderful, great institution called St. Francis Xavier Girls High School. So we want to congratulate all the leaders in the past. Again, want to extend my hearty congratulations for the team for putting together this beautiful book. Any depository, any coffee table book is a book that will inspire and it's a marker of celebration, a marker of faithfulness. And I once again extend my hearty congratulations for the team led by Sister Mala Joseph. And I thank you for inviting me to address a few words. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your insightful message. We appreciate your time and efforts in sharing your expertise with us. I now call upon Ms. Rita Brito, a former student and a teacher to express her experience and memories made at SFX. Most Reverend Bishop Williams, dear sisters of Joseph of Tabs, honored guests, students and staff, all of us former and present, staff and students are extremely delighted about the launch of a book 
that records the annals of history of this institution, St. Francis Xavier's Girls High School. It is an institution built on the solid foundation of spiritual and moral values and principles of equality, harmony, and social justice. These values and principles were ingrained in our young lives, enabling us to stand firm and live up to our school motto, faith and courage. It was faith that carried us along life's journey and courage that made us strong. I'm certain that every student who has passed out of this institution has been richly blessed and credit must be given to all its past principals and staff through the 135 bygone years. Please join me as I express my gratitude to all those who were inspired and those who contributed to document 135 years of school's history. Former students will recall happy memories, present students will be enlightened, and the future students will surely be amazed and look forward with hope to their own foundation for a bright future. Lastly, but more importantly, I thank God for the pioneers of the school, religious sisters who left their homes and homelands, France in particular, former principals and staff, and each and every one who served the school in whatever capacity. To make this institution stand tall, proud, and prominent, on what was once known as St. John's Hill. May Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, be the guiding light for this institution in the days ahead. Thank you, and may God be praised. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. We are deeply grateful for your inspiring words that has left a lasting impression on each one of us. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome Reverend Father Christopher Wimmelraj, the director of Germain Academy. A warm welcome to you, Father. We are honored to invite Mrs. Geeta Chengapa to the stage to share a few words about her journey at St. Francis Xavier Girls High School. Good morning, Sister Malar, His Grace, Bishop, management, students, dignitaries on the dais, ladies and gentlemen. It is an immense honor and privilege to stand before you today as one of the guests for the launch of the Coffee Table Book, Foundation for the Future, a 135-year history of St. Francis Xavier's Girls High School. This remarkable occasion marks not just the unveiling of a book, but a celebration of an institution that has stood as a beacon of education, empowerment, and excellence for over a century. St. Francis Xavier's Girls High School has a rich legacy that has touched countless lives. As we gather here, we are reminded of the vision and dedication of the founders who 135 years ago planted the seeds of an institution that would grow to become a pillar of learning and development. Their commitment to providing quality education to young women and boys has borne fruit through generations of students who have gone on to make significant contributions to society. We, uh, from our family itself, have had about four generations of family passing out with a number of grand aunts, nieces, and nephews through this uh, institution. 
This book is a testament to the school's journey, its triumphs, its challenges, and its enduring commitment to nurturing the minds and spirits of young women. It is filled with stories of determination, resilience, and achievement. Through its pages, we relive the past and draw inspiration for the future. I have a few anecdotes that I would like to just share with you all. I remember my mother, she had beautiful handwriting, and this was due to Mother Yvonne, who encouraged her and, uh, you know, her writing was just so beautiful that none of us have her writing. And, you know, uh, so another thing was Miss um, Doreen Suarez. We were all sports. We used to participate in sports. And in the morning, we all gave her our glasses and watches and uh, thing. So one day with that, I gave her a rubber lizard also. And she didn't realize it. But suddenly she saw it and she just, you know, all the watches and everything went out of her hand. So, and she said, you little devil, what have you done? So everyone's watches were all over the place. Another, my daughter, when she was in school, I, there are so many thing, anecdotes, but one I would like to share how caring the nuns were, Sister Susanna sister and uh, Sister Clara. Uh, we got a call at about 10.30 at night we were in Cook saying that she'd had a fall and hurt her back. So we had to rush immediately to Bangalore. And uh, she was taken, they took such good care of her, put her on a you know hard surface, gave her storybooks to read to keep her through the night. And next day they took her to Hosmat. She went on the stretcher and they, everyone who was waiting outside thought it was a miracle because she walked out. Actually, it was a spasm when someone pushed her, she had a spasm in the back. And she recovered from that immediately after rest. So these are the things that, you know, you remember when you come back and uh, think of the school. I'm particularly moved by the theme, Foundation for the Future. It aptly captures the essence of what Francis Xavier represents. Education is the cornerstone of a progressive society. And this institution has been laying that foundation with unwavering dedication. By empowering young women with knowledge, values, and confidence to pursue their dreams, the school has been shaping not just individual futures, but the future of our community and beyond. As we celebrate the milestone, it is important to acknowledge the efforts of everyone who has been part of this incredible journey, the visionary leaders, dedicated teachers, supportive staff, enthusiastic students, and engaged parents. Each of you has played a vital role in building and sustaining this institution's legacy. To the current students of Francis Xavier's, you are the torch bearers of this rich, rich tradition. The foundation laid by your predecessors is now yours to build upon. Embrace the values instilled in you, pursue excellence in all your endeavors, and continue to uphold the spirit of this great institution. To the alumni, your achievements are a source of pride and inspiration. You embody the values and education imparted by the school, and your success stories continue to motivate current students and staff. This coffee table book is more than just a chronicle of history. It's a source of inspiration and a reminder of power of education to transform lives as we turn its pages. Let us celebrate the past, cherish the present, and look forward with hope and determination to the future. In closing, I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to Sister Malar Joseph, Mr. Arthur, and your full team. Congratulations to everyone involved in the creation of this book. Your hard work and dedication have given us a beautiful gift that will be treasured for generations to come. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of the significant occasion. Here's to St. Francis Xavier's Girls High School. It's past, present, and many more successful years to come. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Chengapa.
for sharing your heartfelt reflections on your alma mater. Your words are truly inspired and reminded us of the enduring impact you've had at SFX. On the release of the coffee table book, it is befitting to celebrate this memorable day with a spectacular dance performance, which evolves from the timeless beauty and legacy of St. Francis Xavier Girls High School that is rich in its history and is continued by the immeasurable efforts made by the congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Tarbes. Sit back and enjoy this moment of pride, gratitude, and hard work.
That was indeed a graceful performance. Thank you, dear students, for your performance, which was truly remarkable and captivating. Education is the key to unlock the golden door of freedom. It is my great honor and privilege to invite Reverend Sister Catherine Charles, the provincial of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Tarbes, to address the gathering. Your Grace, Most Reverend Gay Williams, Sister Louisa Matthias, the manager, Sister Mala Joseph, the principal, St. Francis Davis Girls High School, Sister Georgina, the former provincial, and Sister Frasia and Sister Loretta, the former provincials, Reverend Father Christopher Vimraraj, Director, St. German Academy. Ms. Rito Brito Alumina, the teacher of St. Francis Xavier's Girls High School. Mrs. Gita Chengapa Alumina SFX. Mrs. Stephen David, author and editor of Coffee Table Book. Mr. Arthur B. Pais, the brain behind the initiative. Eminent guests present in the auditorium. All the SAT sisters, staff, parents, students, friends, and well wishers. Proverbs 16, 3, commit your work to the Lord and your plan will be established. Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for the people, 
knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Jesus Christ. St. Francis Xavier School, founded in 1889, is the flagship institution of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Tarps in Karnataka. The school founded by generous missionaries with a vision to empower women has been a nurturing ground for countless young girls, molding them to transform their lives and the society for the better, making significant contribution to the society. Over decades, the school has proven its excellence in education and building communion through the foundation of faith for the future and faith in God, living its motto, faith and courage. From its humble beginnings to its status as a revered educational establishment, the rise has been remarkable. The legacy of this illustrious institution is glorious. It is indeed a moment to raise our hearts in thanksgiving to God and proclaim our heritage through this careful curated coffee table book. The book vividly illustrates our illustrious journey and it's a tribute to the inspiring history of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Taos. Each page unfolds the narrative of perseverance, dedication, sacrifice, and the pursuit of knowledge and makes us delve into the evolution of this remarkable school. The striking pictures that portray the stunning architecture of the school that has housed generation of students, the classrooms where young minds have been ignited with curiosity, the chapel where faith and spirituality have been nurtured, and the lush green campus take us on a memorable trip down memory lane. The timeless tradition that have been defined as SFX, the devoted educators, visionary administrators, and spiritual students whose lives are intertwined in the legacy of SFX for the past 135 years are all present on the pages celebrating the school's enduring impact. As we leaf through the pages, it is evident that the school has adapted to the changing times while staying true to its core mission of providing holistic educations rooted in Catholic tenets. This, uh, this well-covered coffee table book could be a emissary professing the unwavering spirit of community dedicated to excellence, which is the spirit of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Taos. Whether you are an alumni, current student, a parent, or someone with an appreciation for the history, this book about St. Francis Xavier's Foundation for the Future is a homage to the past, a celebration of the present, and an inspiration for the future. Hearty congratulations to dear sister Mala, who is behind this exhibit and excellent work. It is her brainchild, the echoes of our mission. A special note of acknowledgement to Mr. Stephen David for both being an author and editor of the coffee table content. On the same note, I also place on record with appreciation, Mr. Arthur B. Pais and all those who were instrumental in playing their part to bring out the essence that contains in this book, Coffee Table. In conclusion, as we look back with gratitude to our pioneers and all the SJT sisters who have built this institution on the granite of sacrifice, I now with pride, we march forward with hope and honor the generations of students, teachers, and community members who have contributed to the rich tapestry of St. Francis Xavier's Girls High School with faith and courage. Psalm 90, verse 17. 
Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and prosper the work of our hands. Oh, prosper the work of our hands. Thank you and God bless us all. Thank you, sister, for your kind words of appreciation and for always being there as the pillar of strength and support in all our endeavors. We are deeply honored to have with us His Grace, Most Reverend K. Williams, whose contributions to the society is unparalleled. Please join me in welcoming the Chief Guest, His Grace, Most Reverend K. Williams, to share his words of wisdom. Dear Reverend Sister Catherine, the Provincial Superior, Sister Muller, the principal of St. Francis Xavier Girls High School, the manager, Sister Luisa, all the other Reverend Sisters, Reverend Fathers, all the dignit dignitaries, the guests who are specially invited, staff, students, well wishes. Once again, I congratulate the school administration, the principal, the staff, and the students for organizing such a beautiful celebration of releasing the coffee table book. I have already spoken during the Mass, my reflections, just to add a couple of things. When it comes to Christian institutions like St. Francis Xavier's, the objective always was and is education for development, education for progress, education for the betterment in the society. And it is very much true when such institutions were initiated, begun, we see the nationwide Changes have taken place. Changes have really taken place and we have a transformation of the mindset, transformation of all those aspects for the betterment of every individual in a country. That way, St. Francis Xavier's Girls High School has played a vital role in the life and the future of the students who are passed through these portals 135 years. I take this opportunity to thank on behalf of the church, behalf of the parents, the students, especially to the sisters and the staff for their contribution towards the betterment of the society, especially the lives of the girl children around the vicinity. Thank you, sisters, and congratulations. When you glance the coffee table book, surely we glance and we are very happy to see the pictures and our eyes are full of joy. It should not stop there. The glancing through our eyes should take us to our minds. Invites us just to think how they started, how they went about, and what all they could do for the betterment of the students. How much hard work has gone into everyone's contribution by way of service? Well, 
in today's context you know better than me we have schools just coming like mushrooms here and there now schools unlike institutions like this have become centers of business just promoting for their own personal benefits but then something is very important when it comes to the education surely when this school was started and when the students began coming every year for this education it was value based education there was more peace in the society there was more harmony in the society there was more understanding and a type of support and help to each other but today what's happening around somewhere the education though we have reached far and wide beyond our imagination our education has developed and gone somehow there is a missing link between our education and our very way of life in the society somewhere our education is not mattering much when it comes to human relationship somewhere we lack something our education is more in the mind level very intelligent students great what you call qualified teachers or qualified teach uh, students everything in the mind level but there is a need now to reach the heart level where we lack that human human feelings of good relationship where we can contribute every one of us towards peace harmony having a light of compassion having concern for each other to whichever religion whoever belongs to whichever background whoever belongs there is a need now in today's context a journey required from the head level to heart level the distance is very small eh? just 2 feet less than 2 feet head level to heart level but many a times the time required is too much we may just fly over the whole world weeks together days together but then our journey from the head level to the heart level takes more time more time many a times we do not reach the heart level at all in our life so our our education today like this institution which is already fostering the value based education at large requires this heart level value based education where we have love care compassion concern towards our neighbors we are we are invited to create a beautiful society around a beautiful community where we live happy and make others happy once again i congratulate for the beautiful works this ministry of education by the sisters of st joseph of tarps all the staff and students and very specially for preparing preparing a beautiful coffee table book god bless you take care thank you his grace most reverend k williams for your inspiring message and for honoring us with your presence your words remind us that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world the release of a book is the birth of a new voice in the world it is the unveiling of new worlds new ideas and new adventures 
The moment we all have been eagerly anticipating for has arrived. It's time to officially release the coffee table book, which illustrates the foundation of SFX. May I request the esteemed dignitaries, His Grace Most Reverend K. Williams, Sister Catherine Charles, Sister Georgina, Father Christopher Vemalraj, Miss Rita Brito, Mrs. Geeta Chengapa, Mr. Stephen David, Mr. Arthur Pears, Sister Mala Joseph, and Sister Basil to come on stage and do the honors. I also, I request Sister Father Amarnath to kindly come on stage. the coffee table book of St. Francis Xavier Girls High School is now officially unveiled. This book This book is a treasure trove of memories, achievements, and the enduring spirit of the school. It is not just ink and paper. It is the key to the boundless realms of imagination. Thank you, sisters. Thank, Thank you, Father. Thank you, sir. The root of all goodness lies in the soil of appreciation. We are appreciative of your efforts to be here today and attend today's function diligently. I request Ms. Angela Costa to deliver the word of thanks. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Psalm 106 verse 1. A warm and a pleasant afternoon to everyone. On behalf of the principal, management, staff and students of St. Francis Xavier Girls High School, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to each one of you for gracing this momentous occasion, the launch of the coffee table book and the celebration of the 135 years of growth and excellence of our school. The coffee table book aptly titled Foundation for the Future, a 135 year history of the school epitomizes the glorious history, achievements and marvelous journey of our beloved institution. Today we acknowledge and honor all those who are instrumental in making this project a reality. First and foremost, our gratitude goes to Almighty God, who has guided us and helped us achieve this dream. We express our profound gratitude to His Excellency, Dr. K. A. Williams, Bishop Emeritus of Mysore. Your presence here today has truly been an honor for all of us. 
We would like to extend our thanks to Sister Catherine Charles, Provincial SJT. Your support and encouragement are invaluable to us. We are grateful to Sister Georgina, former Provincial SJT, for gracing this occasion with your presence. A special thanks to Reverend Father Christopher Vimalraj, Director, St. Germain Academy. Your presence in our school events is cherished deeply. We express our gratitude to Ms. Rita Brito, former student and teacher, and Mrs. Geeta Chengappa, former student, for taking time from your busy schedule to be a part of today's celebration. Heartfelt thanks to Mr. Stephen David, author and editor, whose foresight paved the way for the coffee table book. We extend a heartfelt gratitude to all the sisters of St. Joseph of Tabs for your continuous support and encouragement in all our school endeavors. We express our gratitude to the former principals who sustain the glory of this institution with their selfless dedication and perseverance. We extend our sincere appreciation to Ms. Aishwarya Chandrasekhar and the entire editor, the editor and the entire editorial board for their dedication, expertise, and outstanding contribution, which have been pivotal in making this project a success. Our deep appreciation and gratitude to the students, both past and present, former teachers, talented artists, writers, photographers, and all those who are instrumental in shaping this stunning book. A special note of thanks to the dedicated teachers. Your passion and tireless efforts are truly commendable. We would like to acknowledge the contribution of our administrative staff and the support staff towards the success of this project. To the parents and well-wishers, thank you for your invaluable support in all the school events. A heartfelt gratitude to our esteemed principal, Sister Mala Joseph, whose visionary leadership has been the cornerstone of this endeavor. Your encouragement and guidance have been the driving force behind this initiative. This coffee table book is evidence of your commitment and dedication to the cause of creativity and innovation, which you have always championed in our school. On behalf of the entire school community, we thank you, dear sister. We feel truly honored and privileged as our dear principal, Sister Muller Joseph, would be awarded the best principal award at the World School Summit to be held on the 20th of July, 2024 at Bangkok. This, this prestigious honor reflects the significant impact Sister has made in shaping the future of education. Sister, your passion and perseverance are truly commendable. Congratulations on this well-deserved achievement. Let us appreciate our dear principal with a thunderous round of applause. Cheers. Today, we especially acknowledge and appreciate the dedication and creativity of Mr. Arthur Pace, who brought this project to life. From conceptualizing the layout to meticulously curating content, your attention to detail and artistic insight have ensured that every page of this book is a masterpiece. You have worked countless hours ensuring that this book serves as a cherished treasure for all of us. We also thank you for being instrumental in enhancing our school's initiatives and programs. Like the school's 25 years milestone, 25 years of Yuletide, and now the 135 years celebration. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Arthur Pace for being proactive and always going the extra mile in our school events. May I request you, Mr. Arthur, to kindly come on stage. I request Sister Catherine Charles and Sister Muller Joseph to do the honors. Please. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give, let's give a huge round of applause for Mr. Arthur Pace.
थैंक यू सिस्टर्स थैंक यू सर finally to all the distinguished guests present here thank you all for joining us in celebrating this milestone in conclusion this coffee table book is a testament to the power of coordination creativity and talent it reflects the hard work passion and dedication of everyone involved may this book be a bridge between our past and our future and inspire future generations of learners to dream big and pursue excellence in all they do thank you and have a great day ahead for the national anthem